my two little monkeys in bed. Huh? So my two little monkeys in my bed. <laughs> it's a bit foggy today, look at that. Good morning, I've literally just got out of the shower, that's why I find two of those in my bed. Although, I had a really speedy shower because my um, drain, it wasn't like going down, like the water wasn't going down, so I think we've got a blockage somewhere. Again, we have nothing but problem with that shower for some reason. Sometimes I think it's my hair. <laughs> I lose so much hair, it's ridiculous. Um, so I might have to ask Graham if he's got a drain unblocker, or I might have to go get one today. Um, I had such a... It was a good like Halloween weekend, but I had a really, I was basically really poorly for basically two days. Um, but yeah, generally Halloween was really, really fun. If you haven't seen my pictures, I did post some on Instagram. Um, I was a scary doll and I did actually freak out the kids to start with. When they first saw me, they were like, ah! um, which I wasn't hoping to get that impression. I was hoping to look more cute, kind of. Um, Anyway, so I haven't done much chores over the weekend because I've been so ill. So I need to strip beds today. So that's what I'm going to do this morning. Strip all of our beds. Okay, one bed done. One emotional child. And one more to do. And then obviously I've got to do mine. Okay, Alistair's done. Now I think I'm going to do ours. Do my bed after breakfast. The reason why Vi's <coughs> upset is because Alistair's actually got an inset day today. He had a week off and now he's got an extra day. Um, so Violet's not happy because it's the nursery day today. She already had Friday off because obviously it's her birthday. Um, but, you know, I just want her to get back into routine and she's just not happy that she has to go nursery um, because she's had basically four days off. But she'll be fine once she gets there. I think she's just tired where she's just woken up. I actually, where I had such a, could say, long sleep over the weekend where I was poorly, I actually didn't go to bed till like one o'clock last night because I was just so wide awake where I had so much sleep. Right, what would you like for breakfast, huh? Uh-oh. This is Graham's pumpkin. As you can see, it's gone mouldy now. We need to take them out. Oh, look at that. They go off so quickly, but it was Darth Vader. So Violet has requested pancakes, but I'm going to do them green. I'm going to add spinach in it. Um, and honestly, you cannot taste it at all. I just split it up with a bit of milk or an egg or something and then add it to the mixture. It's like a mint green. The kitties, look at those. <laughs> okay, I just done a lamb stew, so that is going in the slow cooker for all day. I'm low. Just arrived at Matalan. I dropped Violet off at nursery. And obviously, I've got the boy with me, a little power nap, bless him. I need to pick up an order, basically, I order this stuff, um, a few homeware stuff, bits, like Christmassy bits, um, probably about maybe two weeks ago, and I was supposed to pick it up last week, but I just haven't had time, so I'm here to do that now quickly. Okay, we've arrived at Smith's Home Sense. I haven't been in this new Home Sense in Salisbury. We've got Spots Direct and Waitrose over there. I need to go into Waitrose, I need some bleach, um, but I don't need to do a food shop this week because I've got a delivery coming on Thursday. Yeah, baby. Oh, yeah, I thought you might. We might have a look in there for Christmas presents for like kids and stuff. So, all those kids in my family. So, we'll have a look in Smith's, okay? We've just been into Smith's, who's got the magazines. I'm in Home Sense looking at the. Look at these. Palm tree. Love it. Looking at all the Christmas stuff. Loads. Looking colourful. I'm fearless going. I'm going up. I just want to show you my new door reef that I got. I don't know what this bow thing's all about. It's going a bit crazy. But um, it was in the clearance section because they've brought all their, all their Christmas ones. So the autumnal ones are kind of taking a back seat. So I actually saw this one when I went into Home Sense a few weeks ago, but I didn't want to pay the full price. And it was um, half price. So I thought, I'll get that. It's quite big, but it kind of suits my door. We went into Waitrose as well and I picked up myself up some flowers, $3.99 from 10 and I thought they were really pretty, quite autumnal, very different these things, don't know what they are, um, so I got those and then I also got a whole load of bleach, <laughs> bleach and floor wipes, that was what I needed and then I also got mince pies were on offer, her half price so I thought oh my god, I love a mince pie. I got a book for Violet because um, Alistair had got one as well because he likes writing and I swear they just lose their books so these are only like a pound so I got one for her as well and I got them some pencils 
These are the only other two things that I got in HomeSense. So my little whisk that I have, the handle's broken off, so I got another one of those. That was £4. Yeah, I also got this, which was half price at £5. It's just the little twining. It's like, it says 60 metres of traditional garden twine, but I actually like using this for wrapping presents. So, and how cute is that? It's just like a metal holder. So, yeah. So I've just unwrapped everything I got for Matalan. God, those things were a nightmare. Anyway, this, these are the bits that I quickly got. Um, I ordered online. They were doing, um, I think, spend maybe 30 or 40, I can't even remember, and get like £10 off. So I got two pa two of the age seven boys' school trousers. Alistair needs two more. So now he's got five pairs, so it makes life just in easier for me for the week. Um, I got another one of these frames. I got another one of these frames because I have two up there and I kind of feel like there should be a third one it just looks a bit odd so I just got another one of those they're only six pounds I got two um they, they were doing all the alphabets for um Christmas tree decorations so I got a V and an A for Alistair they were only two pounds each I just thought they were really cute and we have like gold and red theme usually on our green tree um I got some of these men these little soldier men I thought they were cute and then I got this really cute um, penguin throw which was five pounds we're doing three for two on the wrapping paper so I got this one and uh, they come with all the extra bits of the stars I thought they were quite nice and then these were quite autumnal and I really love the sort of stags and the stars uh, and then I really like these little soldier men ones so yeah I'm just trying to choose something on telly I'm just having my lunch here Alistair I already did the boys lunches because Graham's in the kitchen already doing some paperwork and stuff um yeah just gonna chill out and have lunch for a bit and uh, we've got oh, about an hour minions. but minions is still in the cinema isn't it remember no. we went to cinema three times this week or last week we saw what did we see transylvania 2 and then on monday the kid they were doing like a kids thing which was two pounds so me and alistair went with violet was at nursery on monday to watch minions again minions for like the 30th time or something we've seen it about five or six times um and then we saw pan on saturday oh no friday for violet's birthday which was really really good i'll get by from nursery it's nearly two o'clock and then i'm gonna come home and curl up like a ball because oh, it's got a headache again alistair yeah. he's outside digging it's his new favorite thing digging for gold apparently there he is being a boy the sheep in the background. <laughs> Alice has been writing his Christmas list down. I wanted this mm. and I lighted it. That's why it said well done. That's the thing why I wanted. Ooh. And you got you always gotta write that means means you know um which one it is. It's a proper number, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah? Mm. She'd be laying down for like an yeah. hour with the kids just on the sofa. A little bit better. But I said to Vi, she got this for her birthday. To Vi, she can do one of her birthday presents, which was one of these. Nana got you this, didn't she? She got you a couple of these. And they're kind of like um, Melissa and Doug make a wand, so they decorate it. There's my stew coming together. Yum. A cup of tea for me, I think that will make me better, won't it, Vi? And a nice mince pie. <laughs> That is a lot more squirty, isn't it, the white one? Very neat, though, with the other two. But you could put some of the pretty gems on top, can't you? That looks so good, Violet. Well done. We have to let it dry now, yeah? My reef looks a bit too big. <laughs> Graham was like, whoa. <laughs> I know you wanted a reef clear, but that is gigantic. <laughs> Here's some flowers for you. The white ones. Thank you. And they're lovely. Violet, there's a monster. It's so <laughs> over there. Okay. Look at that sky. So gorgeous. Oh dear. Sun going down? Yeah. Burning. Burning. It's bright Burning. orange. <laughs> Where's the bike? Yeah. Where's the bike gone? with the other cows now. Oh, that looks like some squelchy mud there, girls. Yeah. Look at Happy bye. Happy I pigs. I make a wish. <gasps> Got them. Well, hey. <laughs> so the cows are up here now. Because it's been so dry, we haven't got them in, but now. we put them up here. 
and is in there. Yeah, Fudge was in the field here, this one, which was next to our house. Now she's gone. But um, she got through the fence and wanted to be with the rest of them, which was really lovely. So she's just reunited with them, hasn't she? Yeah, because she doesn't have any. Hello, Ju, come on, Ju, Ju. Good boy. Can we see Fudge anywhere? No. no. <laughs> I know where's Fudge. Hello. Where's Fudge? That's the big cow. Fudge. Fudge. Is that the? We can't whistle yet. Wow. Well, you will when you get a little bit older. Yeah. Takes time. Takes lots of practice. Good morning. So it's Tuesday and back to school. I've been sorting out the kids and just like doing usual stuff. I've actually managed to do quite a lot in the space of about an hour and a half, um, <clears throat> or just over an hour. Um, yeah, so we're just about to literally drop Alistair back off at school. He's really excited, which is really, really good. And then I'm going to come home, make Violet a picnic or something, and then decide what we're going to do. So we're going to go out for the day. Although, it does look pretty grey today. It's gl proper gloomy. So, but at least it's dry though, so that, you know, obviously is a plus. Got lunch. Well, this is not lunch, obviously, this is just a quick apple snack, but I've got Violet's lunch. And yeah, where are we going to go? Get one of them parties. She wants a poppy. <laughs> I've just been hoovering up and tidying up, really, cleaning bathrooms, or just the one bathroom actually I did. Um, but yeah, just been tidying, really. I got the cod out of the freezer. I've got a whole pile of ironing that I need to do tonight. Thank God though, one thing I did do when Alistair finished school last week, I done all his school ironing, so it's all literally in his cupboard, so it's just waiting, so I don't have to do any school ironing this week, which is really good. Okay, so we just got in the car. I've packed up her um, pushchair. I don't use a pushchair that often, but if we're going to a shopping centre, I find, one, it carries all the bags, <laughs> so I don't have to do that. I don't have to, carry, I don't have to hold Violet's hand as well. And two, she does get tired walking around shops and stuff. So, um, yeah, hopefully you can hear me. She's got a leap pad on, it's really noisy. Yeah, so we're headed to the Dolphin um, shopping centre in Poole. Um, haven't been there in ages. I used to take Violet all the time and I think it's because it was such a nice small uh, shopping centre. They've got a soft play upstairs. Um, they've, I don't know, they've got a nice Primark, so they've got big bills, they've got a, like just a few little shops and they've got a Wilkinson's as well. Um, Violet's birthday party is on Sunday and I don't know whether to do party bags. I'm kind of like indecisive um, because they can really get expensive and I'm doing cupcakes and stuff like that to like take home. But I thought if I look at Milkinson's, they have quite a lot of cheap knick-knacky stuff. See what I can round up because I have got, actually I'm gonna do a haul anyway that you'll see before this about um, Violet's like uh, birthday supplies haul. Um, which come, I've got a few kind of girly bits but she's got quite a few boys coming as well, like family members and just a couple from her nursery that a couple of the items like a crown and a wand they're not really gonna want well they they probably will it'd be fun for them but i mean it would be nice if i could have like a, a boy's toy in there but um anyway that's where we're gonna go i might um head to the ark maybe before or after i see if she naps if she naps now then i won't bother and do it after just depending on time but we could go to the ark and um you know she could go on her scooter i've got her scooter with me and whiz around the park there just to let her burn off some energy but other than that um yeah we're pretty much heading to poor it's supposed to rain very soon uh, which is quite typical at the moment um yeah so we'll probably see you in a bit okay we've just been into wilkinson's and got a couple of bits useful bits and some christmasy bits and now we're going to a minute cafe yeah to get some lunch if it Hi everyone, so I have been home a little while actually, it's like quarter to four. I mean Violet ended up basically staying at the Dolphin Centre because it's basically, as soon as I mentioned it rained, it was going to rain today, it rained and it poured and it's been wet all day. So we stayed there and had a good look round. It was so busy though, I couldn't believe actually how busy it was. Um, but Violet was like so good, so good, she actually really liked shopping with me which is really weird but she, yeah. As long as you take your time and let her look at things that she wants to look at, she's pretty easy going. Um, 
So yeah, we basically went from there to Alistair's school, picked him up and I've just got home. I've just been sorting through like Violet's birthday stuff and I'm gonna do a video on that maybe tomorrow when I have time. Um, I also went to Wilkinson's, picked up some like Christmassy bits and stuff, like stocking fillers, really good stocking fillers. And then I also got some like frames and stuff. I wanna do like a montage above our bed. Um, this is a bit of a hodgepodge at the moment, um, but I want to do like a really nice picture montage with like a few different frames and stuff. And Wilco have really good frames, so I got six frames from there. Um, yeah, that's pretty much all I've been doing. I feel like the day's gone really, really quick. Um, the kids are just chilling out. Alistair's watching The Night in the Museum. Violet is beeping. You're doing your beeping stuff, aren't you? She's shopping. So other than that, I haven't really been that productive today. I did get a couple of Christmas presents though, which I was really pleased about. <laughs> I managed to get a couple of bits for um, Violet's um, party bags. I wasn't going to do, like I said, I wasn't going to do party bags, but I went into the 99p store and I picked up just a couple of things that I thought would be good to just throw in as well as doing a little cupcake and stuff so she seemed pretty happy just like bubbles and you know nothing they come in really large packs so when you're paying 99p for something that's a pack of like six to eight you just think that's a bit of a bargain so yeah Two free range piggies out, so. Hello, piggies! Some more out! Big, 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 pigs! Hey! Hey! I was at market and I just spot these two pigs walking up the track thinking, oh my god, how am I supposed to get them back in? Thankfully, um, one of the few that works for us, he's like got pigs himself. Um, he's coming to talk now. He's got to watch what they're doing. Right, go away. Just had a shower. <sighs> Spent an hour at the gym, I'm so, so tired. Um, I haven't been to the gym in like a week and a half, but it was good though, it was really good to go. And I really enjoy it while I'm there, but gosh, absolutely knackered. My hands, my arms are like, oh, when I was doing weights. Um, what am I gonna do now? I need to wait for my hair to dry. I need to do two videos today um, before I pick up Violet. It's like 10 to 11 already, so I don't really have much time. I might have to blow dry my hair. Um, um, I might do a quick protein smoothie or something. I did a chia pudding thing, so I might have that. I did that last night. There we go. I'm going to have chia with um, blueberries and kiwi. I'm going to crack on with dinner. I'm actually doing faggot stew. These are our faggots. We actually won an award last week. We um, They do like different sort of like awards ceremony things, and we um, entered 12 of our produce that we make like sausages and we entered our faggots we entered our meatballs um and we won we've entered 12 we won 11 out of the 12 and we won two gold um what was it eight eight silver and one bronze so the faggots came in i think they came in at silver i think i can't remember but anyway we we won two gold for our sausages one of the sweet chili um, veal and sweet chilli which comes um, gold every single year. It's really really popular and I can't remember what the other one was. I think it might have been Some sort of other sausage but Anyway, I'm gonna do um Faggot stew for dinner. There we go. We've got leeks and the faggots on top because they're you know the ones that take at least to cook really compared to like the heavy veg. I think I'm gonna stick it on high because it's a bit later in the day than usual Just for a couple of hours and then put it down to low for the rest of the day. Okay, one vlog down, one to go. I'm just gonna make myself a quick cup of tea. It's like 10 past 12, I'm gonna roll. <sighs> Half 12, I just basically spoke to my camera for about 13, 14 minutes. So I'm gonna edit this video. This is my chatty update. I really hope you like it. Um, it's quite long-winded. <laughs> I needed a tea break in between. Um, yeah, so I'm going to quickly edit that and get it done and get it up hopefully for today or tomorrow. So 
that's priority. Oh, it's such a gloomy wet day. It's so bleh. Such a horrible day. It's definitely a day for like chilling out and just being cozy though, which is good. Ta-da, uploading, done. What's the time? I'm gonna make myself some lunch in a minute. Um, I just need to take a couple of blog pictures and oh, I think that's pretty much it for the day. <laughs> I might take a nap. No, I won't really. Um, I wanna check on my stew actually. It does smell good. I'm off to get Violet from nursery. It's like 10 to two. We're actually have been invited over to one of Alistair's little friends um, after school, because I had them over last week, the week before. Um, so they've invited us over there after school, which should be nice. So I might pop by the shop and get pick up something. I don't know what they, maybe some dark chocolate biscuits or something. So I've just got home and I've just actually transferred some washing over to the tumble dryer, put on some broccoli and the stew is done. Although the faggots have kind of obliterated a little bit. Um, it's kind of like a mint stew kind of thing. Um, yeah, we had a really good time. Um, right near the end though, as we were leaving my friend's house, um, she has stairs like a normal house and she has like a big like painting on the wall with obviously in a glass frame it actually fell off the, the wall and it hit Alistair, it hit Ruben, her little two-year-old oh my god glass absolutely everywhere thankfully though no one is hurt and everyone was absolutely fine we just spent about half an hour just trying to clear up glass basically so that was a bit of a shock like we both had like a full-on heart attack when we heard this crashing down of like glass um, but yeah, it could have been a lot worse. It was only a picture frame, so whew, yeah, that was kind of stressful. And then we kind of left after that. Um, yeah, not really doing much else. Just waiting on Graham. It is six minutes past five. The kids are watching telly now. Um, yeah, not really doing much else. Apart from just waiting for dinner because I'm starving. I've just put on some broccoli. Did I say that? That's how my stew is looking. There's a couple of faggots intact, but. You can see a lot of it has kind of crumbled out. Never mind. Yes, so that's done. So I'm actually going to publish that now. Um, since you have all asked for it to go up today. The kids are in bed. And, well, Graham's actually finishing off doing some maths with Alistair. Violet's in bed. It's like quarter past seven. So it's bright and early. I've actually got my ironing pile. And for some weird reason, I really fancy... How can I say that? I fancy ironing. No, I kind of know I have to do it, so I'm kind of in the mood to do it. So that's what I'm doing. I'm going to do my ironing quick. Probably won't take me that long. There isn't that much there. Probably about 30 minutes, 40 minutes max. Look at these lovely little pheasants we've got. These are the female ones hanging around. Good morning. Um, yeah, it's Thursday. I've literally, literally just stepped through the door after dropping Alistair off at school. It's such a wet and gloomy, horrible day. Um, I actually planned to meet Sophie today. We kind of last minute decided that we'd meet up um, today. She doesn't have Lily. I think she's at preschool, um, but she's got Alexander. So I think we're going to meet in West Key because she doesn't have a car today. And just catch up. And yeah, that's pretty much that for today. <laughs> Nothing that exciting, but it should be good just to catch up and do something. Um, hopefully it won't be too busy in there. I'm just going to do Violet a quick pat lunch. And yeah, that's pretty much that. Oh, I need to put my makeup on as well. I had um, such a really lovely response from my chatty update. Um, yeah, I just can't believe how many really great comments I got and ideas as well. Yeah, it just went down really, really well. So I'm really happy about that. It's always daunting putting stuff out like that um, because, well, you don't know how people are going to react to anything. So yeah, it was good. It's good. I'm really happy actually. We've got the little mouse. Whee! <laughs> it keeps doing that because I like it. I think it's because the floor's so slippery, isn't it? We lent that to my friend and she gave it back to us last night. She's got a little two, two and a half year old. But um, yeah, she gave it back to us because he, he doesn't really go yeah, on it anymore. The I think I'm going to um, look for a blusher today because I really want a new blusher. And mm. like even my, like, I've got a couple of like MAC ones that I've had for like years and years. Um, but the pigmentation is just dried up. They're just not not what they used to be. And this one is okay, but it's not. Just doesn't really show up as much. Um, so that's the plan for today. I'm gonna use my Tusha Clark foundation today. 
something different and it's really pale so it kind of suits me I nearly run out already yeah bye <clears throat> another thing I really need to find is a new eye cream I've literally run out totally now I've tried to squeeze more out from my eye cream but I can't get anything out from it and the one that I get is online so unless I order it it's going to take a couple of days unless I find one today um, I'm not sure if they do the first day beauty in John Lewis they might do or even boots actually they do have quite a few different ones um, but I really need just some sort of eye cream any eye cream to be honest really dark eyes I've been sleeping really well though I'm waking up really well I have a um, like a, a light loomy light thingy um, I've had for a couple of months and it's amazing it's like a I'll show you in a minute it, it basically is an alarm but without the noise you can have a noise on it but it's supposed to just naturally wake you up um, you set a time and within half an hour of you setting that time so I set it for seven and from half six to seven the light gets brighter and it just wakes me up naturally it's just amazing I just you know no noise it doesn't have to have to wake anybody else up or anything um, but I just had really good results from it and I've been sleeping really really well I think I've been using it I think I've noticed a massive difference from using it since the weather's obviously a lot it's a lot darker in the mornings and stuff like that it's really hard to use obviously um, when it's through the summer because it's bright anyway in the mornings but um, yeah it's really really good that's what it looks like it's called Lumi and to set to set my alarm like I do that and it sets for seven um, turn that off but basically it's a night light as well so you can make it brighter and brighter and see how bright that is like and then it's great for like reading at night and stuff like that um, and you can just turn it off. It does get quite hot though, that's the only thing I would say at the back, it does get a little bit hot. I think about a clock. But it's really helped me with my sleep and sleep pattern and stuff. I definitely have been sleeping a lot better. How is it, hey? While it's going through her lunch. I basically just put a lot of fruit in, yogurts, a couple of rice cakes, some cheese, plum, and I'm gonna have an apple myself now. Okay, is that all right? Um, Good lunch? I think that might be a big apple. Mm, it's a big apple for mummy. home and oh I'm so bad with like vlogging when I'm out I think it's because I just get stuck with like just talking I, I've said before I'm such a chatterbox so just talking and looking around the shops and just enjoying company and um yeah we went through West Key it's so busy I think everybody is just concentrating on Christmas right now so everywhere is literally packed and yeah it was so busy it's been raining and miserable all day I mean weather it's just it's literally been raining and pouring all day just got the kids home um abel and box abel and box abel and coal box has, has come and they leave it outside your front door which is quite good um it's all like packed up and nice so i've literally just done my um grocery thing i need to put that up for tomorrow i'm really impressed actually with this week's groceries um, my veg is really good on the crazy music. <laughs> Sorted out the fruit bowl. Look at that. <laughs> that should last us a week. Probably won't actually, knowing the children, they eat so much fruit. I'm trying to get better with eating fruit as well. Mm. So I've just made homemade chips. It's like half past four. I'm kind of running a bit late actually on the dinner front. It takes about a good 40 minutes before my chips are going to be cooked, I think. Hopefully not. We'll see. Um, but I just put the steaks in the grill. I, for some reason, I really like to grill the steaks. Um, that's like one massive chunk of um, rump steak that Graham brought home yesterday. Oh my God, I am so hungry. Look at that. <gasps> I'm still waiting on Graham. Graham's late. It's quarter past five. Come on, kids, dinner time. Zucchinis. 
I'm just steam mopping the floor after cleaning up the um, kitchen. Graham's actually just going to get the kids in the bath. I've just gone a bit crazy and steam mopped all the floors, including the laminate. It's still kind of damp a little bit. Um, needed doing, so I thought I would just do it. The kids are playing really, really nicely in their rooms now. Just having some downtime. They've been really hyper. Graham's just gone to put the chicken to bed and the turkeys to bed. And, um, yeah, I'm not really going to be doing much else. I'm not sure if he's going to quiz night tonight. Um, either way, I'll probably just watch some rubbish on telly. And I need to do my usual meal planning for next week. So, yeah, and I've also wrote a list out of stuff. I've basically done partially my meal plan already, but I've got a list of stuff that I need to buy. Um, one for Violet's birthday, because her party's on Sunday, and also just for extra supplies, really, so I'm going to do that tomorrow. Graham wants me to help him pack some meat tomorrow, though, so... And I want to go to the gym. <laughs> so, it's going to be a busy day, I reckon. Oh, I just got up. I am officially so tired. Um... Oh, well, it's up. She must be with Alistair. Yeah, struggled, struggled, tired. Are you tired? Aww. Friday. Last day. Then the weekend off, yeah. Hmm, you made some interesting messes, Alistair. Oh my god, you are so heavy. <laughs> you. Look at little. You're a big child actually, you're a big child now. You're not a toddler, you're not a baby. You're not a little, well you still are a little girl, but you're a big, hefty child. Look at this child. What do you want for breakfast? Huh? Happy toast, I think. Just heading on the school run and then I'm off to the gym, so I'll probably see you after that. I'm back, literally just walked through the door from the gym. Spent an hour with her and Graham's like, um, I'll meet you down in the cutting room, <laughs> so I've got to have a really speedy shower and then get myself sorted to go meet him and help him do some um, meat packing and stuff like that. It's cold in there though, so I'm not looking forward to that, but it is really wet and horrible day today, so it's best to be inside, I suppose. So I'm back home. I uh, spent about nearly an hour and a half maybe an hour and 40 minutes, something like that, um, with Graham packing me. Oh my God, it's so tiring. I don't know why it's so tiring. But yeah, I was just packing it. He was cutting a whole lamb, a whole pig, and I was just packing up basically. And I come home with some yummy pork um, chops as well for dinner for next week. I might put them in the freezer. Um, yeah, he's gonna be home for lunch in a minute. So I said, I'd, we've got some sausages I don't know which ones we've got. We've got some sausages in the fridge that we need to use, so we're gonna have like a sausage sandwich or something. Something cozy and something filling, because I'm really hungry. I'm gonna have rose veal and sweet chili sausages. These are actually our gold winning um, ones from last week. I'm supposed to be doing slow cooker chili for dinner. Um, I can't remember if I got the mints out of the freezer though. Okay, I quickly just put that on. I'm gonna put the kidney beans in um, last because they just go a bit stodgy otherwise, so that'll be dinner. Well, I officially can't wait any longer. Graham isn't even home yet, and it's like 10 past one. I'm starving. I've just been like, literally, um, well, I've been doing a few things online, doing emails, and I had to phone up the lady about the Sunday haul thing that we're hiring for Violet's birthday. Um, but yeah, I'm absolutely starving, so I'm gonna have my lunch. And I don't know where he is, it's taking ages. So Graham's in and having lunch. I'm actually um, going to sort out the party bags for, to, for Sunday just to get that done because um, I'm actually, well, I'm going to be baking tomorrow cupcakes and then I'm seeing my friends early afternoon. The kids are going to mother-in-law's and yeah, then it will be the party day. Oh, I think I've kind of arranged it so the party's actually a half one so it's not too early or anything so I can flip about doing this, that and the other but I don't want to like leave everything too much to the last minute. Okay, they are done. Just put them there. Um, I've got my list of who's coming. And yeah, I'm gonna get these out because I need to make cupcakes tomorrow. Okay, so I've just got in the car. Obviously. <laughs> 
Um, and I'm going, it's like 10 to 2, so I'm going to quickly pick up the Violet from nursery. We've, um, <laughs> we, me and Graham have discussed that he's going to take Alistair and himself to go get their haircuts because Alistair has like a full on mop at the moment and I keep moaning about it because it needs doing. And that's kind of like his job, like just to take him and father son bonding haircut time. Um, so he's doing that. So he's going to pick Alistair up from school. So that means that I can get a waitress with Violet. I need to get, obviously, this is going to be like, instead of a Monday shopping day, this is basically going to be my shopping day now, um, either Thursday or Friday for the next few weeks. I feel like it's really mumbled up and I don't know why I did it this way, but anyway, um, yeah, so I'm here as a waitrose. I also need to get a couple of supplies for Violet's birthday, obviously, but I'm getting most of it in Costco because um, obviously everything's in bulk there and it's cheap and I only need a few things, really. I don't need a massive amount. Um, so yeah, that's basically what we're doing. We're gonna head to waitrose after nursery. Oh dear. I'll get my coffee. Happy girl with a poppy. Have a look. <gasps> you got that as well. Oh my goodness, that you've got a proper poppy like Alistair. You're happy, aren't you? I've got two of them. Yeah. And we've done with shopping. So we're home. I just filmed my grocery haul. I actually need to put everything away. It does look quite nice though when it's all laid out. Um, I just put my kidney beans in my chili and it's half past three. We probably spent about 30 minutes to maximum 40 minutes in Waitrose. Um, Violet was, she's in such a good mood. I think it's because she ended up getting a poppy. Who's that? I'm oh my goodness. Big boy with a new haircut. <gasps> and you get a lot. Oh, Daddy's got a nice new haircut as well. Look at you, dude hair. Dude hair. Dude. Although they didn't cut much at the front. That's, that's a bit no. that annoys me. No, she didn't. No. No, it does look right though. Better than what it was. Wow, is that you on a desert island? Is it? No? Who is it? Mammy? What's oh, a mermaid? No, it's just fireworks. <gasps> Probably one of Graham's favourite films. <laughs> He's going to be happy. And you know when Christmas is coming around, when you get all these Christmassy films up. Has anyone seen Spectre yet? James Bond, we're actually going to watch it tomorrow, me and Graham. We've decided to um, go out in the evening and just go watch it. I'm just going to quickly put on the rice and then chill out with the kids before Graham gets back because basically dinner's going to be pretty much done. Okay, dinner. Waiting on Daddy. It's a new 10 past 5 so the kiddies. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Doing really well. Violet's getting there. Good girl. So randomly, um, while Violet's just finishing off um, her broccoli and then she's having a yoghurt, I'm actually going to do um, Violet's cupcakes because I might as well just get them done and then I can frost them tomorrow. Um, so I'm gonna quickly do that. Graham's not even home yet. It's like half past five. Doing the job. You see? Yeah. Yeah? I'm gonna get that. Gonna yeah, like that? Mm. They are rising well. Cup of tea for me and Graham. It's uh, 20 to eight, the kids are in bed. We've got some yummy dark chocolate truffles for our Evening treats. There's our fireworks. <laughs> For firework night. Just Good morning. Mm -hmm. So um, me and uh, me and Alison, me and Graham, when we put the kids to bed, we ended up watching a film last night. We actually watched a new one, which was on Sky. Um, X Machina, I think it was called. Really, really good. I was actually really surprised how good it was. It was like a kind of like an AI robotic person thing it was about, but it was really interesting. And the ending was a bit shocking. Um, yeah, the kids are just waiting on their breakfast. They're harassing me, aren't you? Don't talk. Well, stop running around then. He gets running around like a lunatic. Um, Chewy woke me up this morning because obviously the dog's outside and Chewy was chewing on a pipe outside um, our bathroom and I was just like what is that noise and it's like a plastic pipe and I just really hope it's okay and he hasn't put a hole through it um, but yeah I'm doing breakfast I'm doing pancakes for breakfast which is pretty normal this bacon looks amazing just doing my buttercream um, frosting I actually just painted my nails Graham came in 
and <clears throat> yeah, I painted it this colour. It's called Vintage Violet. It's so, so nice. You can see, you can see that. It's really, really nice. Anyway, I'm going to crack on with finishing Violet's cupcakes for tomorrow. Such a miserable day. Um, Graham's in and the kids are watching The Grinch, which is really Christmassy. I love that film. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this weekly vlog and hopefully I might see you next week.